Hey everybody, Patton here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Super Nintendo games on your mini system. Just like with the NES games, it might be a little obvious how to do this with the SNES Classic, but if you have the NES or the Genesis Mini, this will allow you to play those games on those systems. A quick recap on how to get your mini installed with the custom kernel to get these games to run. Go to the kernel tab in HackGCE, install repair, click yes, plug your mini into your PC, hold reset, power on, and HackG will do the rest. Once you see the green dot in the bottom left corner, you're all set. If you need more detailed instructions on modding your mini, I'll have my tutorial video in my description below, or you can go to this help tab and join the Rock and the Classics Discord server or subreddit for help. So if you're on the SNES Mini, you have a couple options here. You can use the native emulator to the system called Canoe, which has a pretty good compatibility, but it doesn't allow you to play all the games. You simply take your games and drag them right into Hackchi. And if you take a look at the command line, we have it set to run with Canoe right here. But if you don't want to use the native emulator or you're on a different system altogether, like here we're on the NES Mini, this is what you got to do. Go up to the Modules tab and to the KMFD Mod Hub. Go to the KMFD RetroArch tab. Select your version of RetroArch. Click Download Module. Next, go to the KMFD Cores tab. Scroll down till you get to the Nintendo Systems. You have a couple options here. You have Mednafin and you have SNES 9X Extreme. Click the emulator of your choice. Once again, Download Module. Once you're done here, you can close the mod hub, go back to the modules tab, and install extra modules. Put a check mark next to the emulator you picked, as well as RetroArch. Then click OK. You should get this done message if everything went correctly. Once again, we're going to take our games and drag them right into the program. You'll see the box art and descriptions have been filled in for us automatically. You'll also notice that the command line shows Canoe as the default emulator. Now, for some reason, on any mini other than the Super Nintendo, this will still work as long as you have RetroArch and a Super Nintendo emulator installed. You don't have to change the command line. But in the case of SNES 9X, you can choose which version of that emulator you want to run your games. If you look here, you can use the SNES 05, 05 Plus, 10, and other versions. So if you're not interested in those other versions, you can keep it as Canoe. But if you want to see how to change it, here's what you do. Highlight your games, right click, go down to select emulation core, highlight your games on the next screen, make sure Super Nintendo is highlighted over here, and in the bottom window you can choose which version of SNES 9X you want to run this. I usually pick the regular SNES 9X. Make sure to hit apply, and then close. If we take a look at our games again, they will now boot up with SNES 9X. The last step is to hit the Synchronize Selected Games with Mini button here if you're putting them directly onto your system, or Export to USB if you're using external storage. Looks like we're all set. Let's hop over to the NES Mini and take a look. And here we have Art of Fighting, and if we move down a little bit, here's Chrono Trigger. Let's open it up, see if it'll boot. There we go. One more time with Art of Fighting. And we're good to go. And that's all there is to it. Remember, if you have any questions, you can go to the Rock and the Classics Discord or subreddit to ask for help. And that's all I got for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.